I can hear you. God is good and all the time. Amen. This is a good day to be alive. Amen. Or a good day to die. <laughs> no? Ah, that's right. It's not a good day to die. It's a good day to live for Jesus Christ. Amen. It's a good day to be healed. It's a good day to be raised from the dead. And it's a good day to be delivered from demons. Amen. 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 Uh, we're going to have a wonderful service today. This is going to be our last prayer line this coming year. And this is also a wonderful time that we're going to have. We have a lot less people because of the holidays. But the needs are not less than on our typical prayer lines. And so um, as we are waiting, our translator, I'll just take a minute to remind you that we just came from the Skoan, from the ministry of Prophet T.B. Joshua uh, a few weeks ago. And before we left, Prophet T.B. Joshua, whom God uses in tremendous, mighty ways, uh, he prayed for us and he gave us uh, the anointing water, which, which is just a contact point uh, for prayer. And just like oil laying on of hands, these things don't heal. The oil doesn't heal. The hands don't heal. It's Jesus who heals. And laying on of hands or the oil is just a contact point. And so he gave us the anointing water and he told us to not to stop to pray for people who are in need. And today we are confident. We have needs who are extreme. We have needs who are, if they don't get healed today, um, some people, they will die in two weeks. And so but we're going to trust in God that a mighty God through ordinary people, and through foolish things like even water is able to manifest his power and show his grace in our place today in Jesus name. Can somebody say amen? amen. We are not strangers to incurable diseases. We are not strangers to also seeing healings to incurable diseases. Can somebody say amen? We're not strangers to seeing the presence and the power of God showing himself mighty in this place. And before we go into the message I just want to remind you that there are two important ingredients to receiving and maintaining a miracle. One is Prophet T.B. Joshua always teaches is the way and the matter we come to Jesus matters. So everybody say after me say the way and the matter, and the matter. I come to Jesus matters. 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 See what happens is that many times you know people don't take seriously the way they come to God. The way they come to even to the prayer line. Like we have wonderful people, some who traveled all the way from Texas a week earlier to come for prayer line. Not last night, not coming late to church like a lot of people here today. No offense, not pointing fingers on anybody except those who came late. And so, but people who will come a week earlier from Texas, rent a hotel, spend a whole week seeking God, show up at every service to build his faith, and then come for prayer line and then there's a difference between people you know who would not come to church at all they just to hear the prayer lines coming up and they come just for prayer line do you think who is going to receive an answer the way and the matter we come to God matters if we come in a way that shows to God we are not serious we are gonna get water sprayed on our face but if we come to God and we say God I am serious God I am laying my life down because I believe and I have faith like a woman with the issue with woman to issue of blood like a woman who had a demon possessed daughter she pushed through it matters like a young lady who uh, like a lady who came yesterday also from Boston came on Friday spent a night here spending a day seeking God's face and our screening starts at five and she was here at four o'clock way before our team you know and to me and I see that we see those cases all the time we've seen people every single month Okay, the prayer line is not new for us. And when we've been to school and we've seen the same thing. And this is usually the ingredient. People who take the process lightly, who take shortcut skips, usually the case is they get what they bargain for. And so the way and the matter we come to God, number one, it matters. We must understand we're not dealing with us. You're not dealing with our church. You're not dealing with water and you're not dealing with TB Joshua. You're dealing with God who sees your problem and he's the only one who can fix it. Can somebody say amen? amen. There is a God who watches us. That's the number one lesson. It's the way and the matter we come matters. We've seen the same thing in Scone. You know we are people sometimes we come we're from America and we go through the same process waiting there and um, listening to all the testimonies that we have heard and showed here don't go through the same process. Why? Because the way and the matter we come to Jesus matters. The second thing and uh, I'll let our pastor preach to us. The second thing is this. You shouldn't focus 
and what's going to happen to you in the prayer you should focus on what's going to happen to you after prayer during this prayer some people will feel sick and you will feel like throwing up others of you will feel like fainting because evil substances and the things that are not from God will get tormented even during worship some of you are not feeling comfortable those of you who are coming for prayer why because the power of the name of Jesus Christ demons know their time is expiring you should not focus on what's going to happen during prayer whether you're going to shake, bake, fall, uh, vomit, scream. You should not try to, well, I want to look cute. I want to look, what are they going to look? What, how are they going to? You should forget about that because that's not the point. The point is not what's going to happen during prayer. The point is after you receive this thing, were you going to go home? Were you going to go to church? Are you going to read the Bible? Are you going to stop sinning? Are you going to start serving God? Are you going to join a cell group or simply you're going to go say, well, you know what? I didn't receive anything. Maybe I'll go next time. Baloney. That stuff not going to ever get God's attention. We've had a gentleman who went with us to the school and who had incurable disease of HIV. There's no cure for that disease. When he received prayer, he goes back home and he is healed, completely healed of HIV. And guess what he does? goes does the same stupid thing that he did before to get HIV so now we're going again to the school and he applies again because he has HIV again and guess what the prophet T.B. Joshua said you're not coming if you do not know how to maintain if you don't care about maintaining why keep receiving why mark God we must understand we must fix our mind today as you're listening to the message of the pastor as you are getting ready today it's not whether you're going to manifest it's whether you're going to receive that prayer and what you're going to do after this prayer today that's what matters when we were going this time to the scone and I was going and honestly I was preparing my heart I've been to scone many times I think all the wise men have laid hands, hands on me wise men Harry and all of these wonderful men of God but when I was going in I was going in there number one as though I'm going there for the first time and I positioned my mind I said Lord I want to receive from you I don't notice any uh, weird things in my life and people are not really you know saying well you got a demon or anything anything of that sort but hey anything <laughs> can be hidden there so I was like Lord I am ready I want you to move in my life and I want you to if it needs to bring freedom greater freedom greater blessing whatever it is God but I'm ready and we were standing there going through the same process four hours this is not like two hours that we do here we talk with people this is a lot longer you had to wait for a long time we were tired because we just came from 11 hour layover from Germany we were not in the mood emotionally everything was shaky we wanted to sleep and we sat through the whole thing and after we sat through the whole thing one of the evangelists gets up and he says he says exactly the same words that I'm telling you because I'm over there sitting and I'm like God you know if I manifest you know what's gonna come out you know what are people gonna think make sure they don't put it on YouTube uh, so I'm thinking you know if I'm gonna fall uh, will I get the visions right away you know will I get like prophetic word uh, what kind of prophecy I'm gonna get so I'm sitting and I'm like literally contemplating all these things and this evangelist gets up and he says he says if you're here thinking how you're gonna receive he says you're wasting your time he says you're gonna receive he says what's gonna make a difference is how you're gonna maintain he says from this on moment until you get prayer he says preoccupy your mind not with what's gonna happen to you preoccupied with your mind is after this prayer what's going to change in your part because you have a role to play and that moment I changed my mind I said I'm not going to focus on what's gonna happen to me I am gonna focus on after this I'm gonna pray the more after this touch I am going to go home and certain things in my life they will not be the same in Jesus name and I took that by faith and I was in the prayer line everybody received the prophecy except me um, prophet Joshua touched me well before he came I started to feel sick in my stomach now usually I have that uh, you know reverence for the mighty man of God I just kind of feel a little dizzy and but this was so sick I thought I'm gonna faint and throw up I've never had that I was like oh my goodness here's coming ah that's right <laughs> Vlad is gonna you know go through his own deliverance that's right and so and I was literally ready I was trying to even push it I'm like anything <laughs> and uh well uh, nothing puked it out but when I fell I got up and all of it like literally like just was, was taken off I felt completely different and though I did not receive the prophecy but I received what I came to receive during that trip and my mind is fixed 
and maintaining it my life is going to be different not just because prophet prayed for me but my life is going to be different because my mind is fixed on maintaining all of you who are here for prayer I know like we've talked to one of the gentlemen here and he says when a guy came here to receive prayer and he got fired I think Bruno you're the one who shared his friend who came here for prayer he had joblessness and couldn't get a job after receiving prayer here his boss who fired him called him and he says you gotta come back to work and when our friend heard that because he had a similar situation he says I'm going there to receive the prayer and my case will not be no different Amen. some of these people literally stayed for a whole week all the way from Texas just to receive this prayer and I want to ask you today the prayer is going to be small the prayer is going to be short but the deposit in the time is going to be great focus on what's going to change afterwards when you walk out you walk out differently for the glory of God in Jesus name can somebody say amen, amen. if they had a lady who is a famous world-renowned soap opera singer today in the Scone who sung all around in the world with the famous people all around in UK and the evil spirit started to attack her at night she started to have nightmares at night and anytime she would get up to perform things would start getting wrong with her voice and she would always fail at her performance she came to the evangelist in the UK received prayer with the anointing water received complete deliverance today she's back at Scone singing to the glory of God the nightmares stopped she no longer has problems in her voice and glorifying the name of Jesus Christ if a king of Malawi can show up the president of Malawi can show up today at the school and to receive prayer you and I are not greater than the president amen and so today we're going to receive the grace of God that's going to change the course of our life amen and demons don't have respect whether you're a president homeless or a pastor they attack everybody and the name of Jesus Christ loves everybody as well whether we're a president whether we are first lady or whether we are homeless whether we are millionaire or whether we lost the job God loves everybody the same as he loves any of his apostles can somebody say praise the Lord fix your mind today you already came those of you who came late or those of you who tried to skip the process repent God's gonna forgive you but the rest of us who pay the price I want us to fix our mind on one thing right now not on anything else but one how am I gonna maintain that which I received